Hey everyone, it's DLR here, and today I'm going to be talking about the week 15 games that happened, and I'll just be recapping the scores, and I do have a few notes for a few games, not all of them, but a few games. So, um, the first game we had was the Raiders and Chargers, obviously everyone knows what happened there, 63-21 to 21, Raiders won. Raiders led 42-0 at halftime, which was, what I said, the biggest, the biggest, uh, score difference at halftime, because I've never seen that happen before in the NFL. Um, let me know in the comments if you've seen it before in the NFL, because for me, I've only felt like this has happened in college. Not the NFL. But Jacoby Myers, he passed for a touchdown during the game. O'Connell had 248 yards and four touchdowns. Throwing it 34 times for 20 completions. Uh, seven players from the Raiders have a touchdown. Uh, with Trey Tucker having two of them. Uh, and the Raiders... They won a one-sided game that led to be their highest scoring game that I know of. Also, let me know in the comments if uh, if that's a thing there. Uh, O'Connell, he won three games in a row that I know of. Um, and the next day... For all Chargers fans that got happy as hell that day, Brandon Staley got fired. And what a beautiful sight. Because that guy was just going to bring you guys down if he fucking stayed any longer. But, anyway, let's get to the next one here, which was the Vikings and the Bengals. Bengals win that one in overtime, 27-24. to 24. Uh, Bengals getting the field goal in overtime to get the win. Uh, I'm trying to find... Uh, did I say anything about it? Nope. But I'm going to mention it anyway. Um, Jake Browning. When he beat the Vikings... Takes his helmet off. You should have never fucking cut me. That shit was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, dude was heated, but also friggin' pumped up at the same time. And to be completely honest, I like Jake Brown. Browning. I don't know why it's a Brown. But, I mean, close enough anyway, right? Uh, he he was playing actually pretty decent. I, I can't lie about that. Vikings were playing good, too. So, yeah. Vikings did have the lead, though. Uh, at one point, I'm not really remembering when exactly. But I do know... Bengals did eventually tie the game and then got the overtime win. Um, next one here is Steelers and Colts. Uh, Colts won that one 30-13. And um, Steelers player got ejected for a nasty hit, dude. Just one of the nastiest hits I have ever seen. Dude was in was in the friggin' middle of like diving or something. And I I think I think he like dived to catch the ball. And this Steelers player came out of nowhere. Helmet to helmet. So he got ejected pretty quickly from that game. Uh, the Colts, they blew out the Steelers in the second half. Um, trying to see one more thing. 
Nope. Okay. I thought I wrote something else there. Um, next game, Broncos versus Lions. Lions smoking the Broncos, 42 to 17. Uh, Lions shut out the Broncos in the first half. Uh, <laughs> Saint Brown, the wide receiver for the Lions, flipped over someone for a touchdown, which was a pretty cool, a pretty cool thing to see. Actually, haven't seen really anyone flip over anyone in a while. I think. Uh, I think the last one I've seen was uh, the video of, I think, Ocho Cinco or someone doing it on the Bengals. Not completely sure. My mind's been kind of all around, all over the place the last week. Um, But yeah, Lions, they got that win there. Giants versus Saints. Saints... Practically blew out the Giants, 24 to six. Uh, Tommy DeVito sacked. I think it's they said like seven times, and yeah, it it just didn't look good for the Giants that game. I'm sorry for all you Tommy Cutlet fans there, but um, I don't know what happened either. Uh, next one is Bears versus Browns, and the Browns winning that one, twenty to seventeen. Just trying to see if I wrote anything for that one. Nope. Um, Browns played pretty decent, and uh, the Bears they also played pretty good. It was definitely a close scoring game. Falcons versus Panthers. See, this one was the. I mean, I wouldn't say worst game of the week, but, like, it, it I, I'm only saying that because a lot of people get mad at me when I say it was a horrible game, and they just say it's been a, it was a good defensive game, so, I, I, I'm just not gonna say it's a bad game, I'm just gonna leave it at Panthers 1, 9-7, to seven. um, Field goals. I guess field goals can get you a win this season. Didn't know that, but only field goals? Pretty weird. And I think this is the second time this has happened this year. I think the Bro I think... I th <sighs> Was it the Broncos? Or the Bears? It was one of the B teams. But they scored, I think, like 12 or 15 points just kicking. And that was weird it, all in itself. So, I don't know. The next one here was the Packers versus the Buccaneers. 34-20 to 20 Buccaneers win that one. And Baker Mayfield being only the second player ever in Lambeau Field to have a perfect passing rating. Of 153.9, I believe. And the only other person to do that was Aaron Rodgers when he was on the Green Bay Packers. So, pretty pretty good from Baker Mayfield there. He's, he's definitely going to get some flowers for that one. Jets versus Dolphins. There's really not much to say about this game. Dolphins whoop the shit out of the Jets, 30-0. to zero. And everyone was thinking that Aaron Rodgers was going to come back if the Jets won, but <laughs> no, no, no. He said, uh, he said, I think, like, yesterday that he would be cleared in four weeks. So... Aaron Rodgers definitely wasn't going to be able to play until the postseason if they even got into it, but they didn't, so they couldn't do anything. And now for the game that gave me the most hate. Ugh. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about this one too much here. 
Chiefs versus Patriots. Chiefs getting the win there, 27 to 17. Um, yeah, like I said, I got a lot of hate for that video. I don't know why, but um, it's all good. I mean, I don't really, I'm not mad at anyone, but I mean, don't don't be don't be giving me shit and everything in the comments. I I don't need it. But like I said, Chiefs won that game. Uh Texans versus Titans. Texans in overtime 19 to 16. Pretty good game there. I I do love overtime games. Games that go into overtime are the ones that are the most exciting ones to watch for some reason for me. Um, 49ers versus Cardinals. 49ers win that one 45 to 29. Crazy, crazy game. Uh, yeah, I mean, Brock Purdy, he had a, he had a pretty good game. He didn't throw for an interception, I believe. Four touchdowns. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's being... Uh, yeah, Christian McCaffrey. A lot of people are talking about him being in the MVP race. And, uh, I mean, they're kind of saying it with Brock Purdy, too. Both of them, really. Um... Yeah, uh, next one is the Rams versus Commanders. Rams getting the win here, 28-20. to 20. In a game I thought, for some odd reason, the Commanders were going to win because they were making a comeback. But then... Ooh, sorry about that, I just burped. Uh, but, Commanders... They try to do an onside kick, and I think it was Cooper Cup. He swatted the ball literally right out of the uh, out of the field. Practically, he was like, "Nah, get that shit out of here. They ain't getting the ball. Ain't nobody getting the ball." That's practically what he said. Uh, next game: Bills versus Cowboys. Bills getting the win here, thirty-one to ten, in a in a game that I didn't think was gonna go the way it did, but it did. And Bills fans, I'm happy for you for getting that win, even if uh, even if Josh Allen didn't do much. That was a James Cook show right there. Ravens versus Jaguars. Ravens beating the Jaguars pretty bad, twenty-three to seven. I mean, there was a there was a clip from uh, the NFL. I seen Trevor Lawrence. Uh, he had it. He had a fumble, but never got hit, which was actually the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I know, I know, it's happened a few times before, but. I don't know for this for this one it just seemed a little weird. Almost seemed like he did it on purpose. Nah, just kidding. I'm no, just kidding. I am very much kidding about that. He didn't drop it on purpose. He he pro it probably just like he probably had it, and there was probably too much of an opening in his arm at that exact moment. So it probably just fell right through. I mean, you never know. It it happens. And for the last game, man, I felt I felt weird about this one. Eagles versus Seahawks. Seahawks getting the win there, twenty to seventeen. Pretty much the same score as the Browns game. Uh, Seahawks. They actually did pretty well. Uh, yeah, they did pretty well against this, uh, against this, uh, Eagles defense and everything. I mean, they, they held, they held on. I, I can say that. 
And now, just for like a few random notes I have here, just during the whole week, Aaron Rodgers did some weird one-handed interception during practice. And um, th this one was funny. Malik Cunningham signed with the Ravens the day after I posted a Madden short with Malik with Malik in it, and and he was running the ball for a touchdown, and I mentioned Lamar Jackson's name in it, and then literally the next day he's he's on the Ravens. Such such a weird day for me on that one. You guys could probably see the videos in my shorts from it because I kind of talked about it a good amount. I kind of said I predicted it, but to be completely honest, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's just a very odd coincidence that I would name the video uh, that with uh, Lamar's name in it just for the next day Malik Cunningham goes to the Ravens. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, there's nothing else I really have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Have a good night.